Hello, everybody. It is February 21st, and we are heading to week seven of our online astronomy course. I hope everybody's doing well. And as you can see, here I am on the surface of Mars. Um, this is taken from one of Perseverance's uh, low navigational cameras. It's the first color picture that has been returned from Mars from uh, Perseverance. And it's not color corrected yet, so this hasn't been, you know, fixed up to release to the public, but um, this is the first color photo they got back. I hope you all followed uh, the landing like I did on uh, last week on, on um, Wednesday. It was just, just amazing. And um, no, that was on Thursday, wasn't it? Yeah, on Thursday, the 18th. Anyway, um, I hope you all followed it. It was, for me, real, you know, real nail biter because uh, Perseverance was being lowered into a, an area with a lot more hazards than previous missions have had. And the new navigation system worked flawlessly. Uh, it was lowered down onto the surface with a sky crane and in fact, I want to show you one of my favorite uh, photos from that. So I'm just going to share the screen here and show you this photo. Here it is. Uh, this shows you perseverance being lowered down by cables from the descent stage. The stents, uh, descent stage is powered by eight rockets slowly lowering Perseverance toward the ground. Those cables are about seven meters long. And right here in this uh, picture, Perseverance is about two meters above the Martian surface. So if you were standing on Mars, you could, you could actually reach up and touch it. And here you can see, especially up here in the upper left, you can see these plumes of dust that are uh, streaming away due to the uh, power of the descent stages rockets. So in just a second after this picture was taken, Perseverance reached the surface, those cables were cut and the descent stage flew away. So uh, it was a, a great landing, a great triumph. And uh, I really enjoyed watching the coverage of that. So, um, and I've also modified from what it was last semester. I did made some modifications. So in uh, module seven, you'll find some material on the Perseverance rover, a little bit about its descent, its landing, and a little bit about uh, what it's going to be doing. So take a look at that. And there's also some material on some of the other uh, rovers, you know, Curiosity, which landed back in 2012 is still out exploring and doing great work. So you'll find some things on that. Which brings me to module seven. And module seven is about the four terrestrial planets, the Earth-like planets, namely Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. So you'll be learning about them. And there's really, uh, I think, an interesting comparison between Venus, Earth, and Mars because Venus and Earth are almost twins as far as size go. And that means they probably started out with the same atmosphere. And that is a combination of carbon dioxide and water vapor. And so did Mars for that reason. Um, Mars and Venus still have their carbon dioxide atmospheres, but Earth has oxygen. You know, we still have some carbon dioxide. So there's you know, if we formed out of the same cloud of gas and dust at the same location, why the difference in our atmospheres? And why, why do these planets seem to have different histories? And that's what you're going to be learning about this, this module. It's amazing that we've now visited all three of those planets. We've been to the surface of Venus. We've been to the surface of Mars. And yes, we've been to the surface of Earth. And so we know quite a bit about them and we're learning more all the time. And uh, the search for um, new information about Mars, uh, trying to find out if Mars 
was ever habitable, if it did have past life, is going on right now. So this is such an exciting time to be studying the terrestrial planets. So I hope you'll enjoy that. Um, and let's see. Oh, I do have uh, one thing. Oh, after uh, Perseverance landed, I did go outside and there were some light clouds, but I could still look up and I could still see the moon. And using my binoculars, I could see Mars. So it was really cool to see Mars on the same day we actually landed Perseverance there. So I got a, I got a big kick out of that. So what is there in the sky this week? Let's see uh, what there is. And we'll just take a look there. And this is a stellarium. And this is what you would see on the uh, 23rd. So this is on Tuesday. And here's looking south, just to go down toward the horizon here from where we originally were. And here's, we're at about uh, 10 p.m. And so you can see, uh, here's Orion. That should be nice and familiar to you. And there is Aldebaran and the star cluster of the Hyades. But let's go up a bit. We're looking just about straight south. We're going to go up a bit. And there is the moon on Tuesday. And the moon's going to be full at about one in the morning on Saturday. Uh, so if you want to see it, go out this Friday and see it in the evening. And that's when you'll see it closest to being full. So here the moon is not quite full yet. But I wanted to show you because it's close to the constellation of Gemini and two of the prominent stars in Gemini, which are Castor, which is this star here, and Pollux. And Gemini is known as the twins. And um, maybe you can see the twins if I put in the lines that show you the lines connecting the uh, asterisms that are showing the connecting the stars that make up the figures in the constellation. Maybe these two look like two stick figures, maybe holding hands. The twins, um, Castor and Pollux. And if I put on the figures, you can see there they are. And so they are just above and to the left of Orion, the nearly full moon, Pollux and Castor. So you've probably heard of Gemini and I just wanted you to see where that is. You can go out and see this lineup. This lineup only occurs on uh, this Tuesday, the 23rd, because after that, the moon will have moved off further to the east. So go out, take a look at that, if it's clear. And whatever you're going to be looking at uh, and whatever you're doing this week, I hope you have a good week. I hope you enjoy learning about the terrestrial planets. I hope you'll enjoy the material uh, that's been released so far about perseverance. And tomorrow morning, Monday morning, they're going to have a news conference in the morning. And I hope they're going to be releasing some video and sound from the landing. And if they do have that, I'll be sharing that with you in the module as well. So take a look, see if any, see what shows up because I'll be checking during this entire week and be adding to the module if there is anything. So have a really good week and I will, uh, Look forward to seeing you next week. So until then, bye-bye.